Food is such an important part of our daily lives. We crave it, we yearn for it, we love it. It is so important that our bodies cannot function without it. When it comes to food, we have all had a favorite type at different points in our lives. For some, this might be a juicy bacon cheeseburger, a cold scoop of ice cream, or a cheesy slice of pizza. But for me, it has always been cereal. Cereal, cereal, and more cereal. No matter the type, I have always craved it after a long day at school or even throughout my college years. The mixture of dry cereal with milk is a combination that I simply cannot live without. Even though this food is such a large part of my diet doesn't mean that it is a healthy option for a snacker meal. Studies have shown that the most popular cereals on the shelves may have the worst nutrition benefits for our bodies. According to an article titled, Is Cereal Healthy? The worst offenders are sugary cereals that lack fiber and protein, which can cause a blood sugar spike and crash before lunchtime. For example, Kellogg's Frosted Flakes with Marshmallows has 12 grams of sugar, 0 grams of fiber, and 1 gram of protein. Wouldn't it be great if we made the act of eating a bowl of cereal into a nutritional experience using real ingredients? Hi, I'm Abby Dean, the cereal addict and mind behind the madness of Milk Theory. This project involved the marketing and branding of a gourmet cereal cafe based in Austin, Texas. The results of this cafe will provide a twist off of popular cereals by using seriously real ingredients as well as the opportunity to mix and match your favorite bases and toppings. Extensive research was conducted in the production of this thesis topic. Seven books and five articles were read and referenced in order to understand the history behind a bowl of cereal and the impact it has had on American culture. For example, the Great American Cereal Book covers why cereal is only second to milk and soda in supermarket spending and how cereal has impacted pop culture. The article Cereal, A Taste of Nostalgia, Look for Its Next Chapter, talks about why cereal has remained popular for so many decades and what they predict for cereal brands in the future. Assorted examples of food depiction and art history were referenced to gain insight on how food is not only obtained as a source of nutrients, but also as art. For example, Klaus Aldenberg's Spoonbridge and Cherry, located in Minneapolis, was created for passerbys to view and observe. This piece took the form of a boat and fountain sprout coming from the top of the cherry, and it is an example of how food can be used in popular forms of art. Several case studies were conducted in order to understand the functionality of other businesses and their brand stories. Milk and Cream is one of the most popular cereal bars located in New York City. They provide their customers with cereal treats that bring back nostalgic feelings from their childhood. One of the factors that makes milk and cream so popular that I understood after visiting last summer is that not only do they provide bowls of cereal, but they also provide forms of cereal such as ice cream, milkshakes, and ice cream pints. The atmosphere of this cereal bar was unique because of the mixture of pop culture and the cartoons from the 1990s. The second case study that was conducted was for Shadow Milk. Shadow Milk is a newly renowned milk company that not only makes great white milk, but also milks with lots of exciting flavors. These flavors include chocolate, root beer, cookies and cream, and cotton candy. Something that I really enjoy about this milk company is that they push beyond the stereotypes of store-bought milks and branded themselves so that they stand out on the shelves through colored milks and hilarious copywriting. The brand standards for each of the companies have several similarities, one of them being the use of black and white in their primary color palette. This is common for businesses in the dairy world because of the reference to a cow's spots. Milk and Cream also uses the colors blue and pink to add vibrancy and establish reliability with their brand. Milk and Cream has a sans serif, script, and slab serif typeface present in their logo, while Shadow primarily uses a sans serif typeface. Both are successful and speak to their brand stories well. I looked at several aspects of the brand with each case study, including menus. This menu in particular was studied because of the wide range of ingredients and the loud use of illustration in the background. Websites were also observed in order to gain more insight to each brand and what makes them so popular with consumers. Shadow Milk has a successful website because of the strong use of photography and witty copy all over the page. 
Their copywriting was so unique that it made me want to scroll down and read more immediately. For example, the secondary header reads, no factory farms, no bull. Okay, a few bulls. We hope you'll understand. I also looked at their social media accounts in order to see the range of products posted on their pages. Milk and Cream in particular uses their Instagram to promote their menu items with mouth-watering images taken by followers of the brand. These brands in particular did not have a wide range of merchandise to choose from, but Milk and Cream have seasonal items to purchase such as baseball caps with their tagline, Treat Yourself. Advertising campaigns were observed because of its importance to the brand. I looked at Shadow Milk specifically because of their connection to their community. This advertising campaign was created to celebrate the Kansas City Chiefs as AFC champions. This campaign was released in February and spread across a lot of platforms, including the news portion of their website, Facebook, and Instagram. Packaging was also observed with both brands because of the heavy use of bottle and cup packaging present in the dairy business. Each of these items have the logos visible to the customer while also giving more information about the products inside. A study from Intel posted in 2017 showed that 86% of Americans have had a bowl of cereal in their lives. The younger generations are leading the pack of cereal popularity. 56% of millennials say that they have eaten cereal as a snack at home, while baby boomers come out at 32%. With that being said, the target market for milk theory includes men and women between the ages of 18 to 35. This age range is full of foodies that enjoy going to trendy restaurants so that they can post mouth-watering photos on Instagram. There are two main ingredients in a classic bowl of cereal, cereal and milk. One of the things that sets this cafe apart from others in the industry is the wide variety of milk options on the menu. The word theory has many meanings, but the one that applies to this use is the general or abstract principles of a body of fact, a science, or an art such as music theory. The mixing of cereal and milk is an act of art that goes back for many decades. So the words milk and theory were combined to emphasize the wide possibilities that a bowl of cereal could have. A monoline script typeface was chosen for the primary logo because of the playfulness as well as sophistication of the brand. The primary typeface for the logo, Alea, is a typeface that has similarities to vintage type in the 1950s, such as milk bottle caps. The break in strokes in each letter form is a stylistic choice that modernizes the type as well as gives it personality. The secondary typeface on the logo has a classic diner feel with the long and skinny X heights of the letter forms. A circle emblem was chosen for the primary logo lockup because of the reference to a bowl. The stylistic elements such as the milk bottle, secondary typeface, and line work were inspired by vintage milk cartons and caps in the 1950s. The levels of typography used for milk theory include a script, two sans serif typefaces, and a marker handwritten typeface. The marker typeface was inspired by signage lettering in the 1950s and 1960s that has been carried on for many years. The bubbly and pastel color palette in Milk Theory's brand incorporates the two most important colors for the brand, white and a tone of black, representing a cow's spots, as well as a variety of pastel swatches. The pastel swatches were obtained from popular breakfast cereal imagery such as Lucky Charms and then reduced in saturation to establish the mature nature of the brand and natural ingredients in the products. Various elements of photography were used in order to gain appeal through food photography and to add texture to the design. The halftone screen effect was added to various images in order to lay more elements on top and connect the brand back to the vintage roots found in the research. Various design elements are used, such as serial icons, grid layouts, and more icons and illustrations to add to the personality of the brand. The serial imagery was reduced to icons to reference the similarity to popular serial brands, such as Captain Crunch, while putting a twist on it. The collateral design for Milk Theory includes a variety of stylistic elements from the brand. These stylistic elements include grid structures, halftone screen photography, iconography, and typography. The business cards are meant to represent the culture of the brand with the lively nature of iconography and the hint to each employee's favorite cereal sold at Milk Theory. 
The menu focuses on iconography and typography to speak for the products. These vertically aligned menus are meant to be on a wall in the storefront, as well as printed front and back for handheld material. The menu includes everything from bowls of cereal to cereal to go, but the most unique item is cereal milk to go. The final portion of collateral design for Milk Theory was a postcard and stamps. These items are another form of printed material that can be shipped individually to customers, announcing new items and to keep them updated with Milk Theory news. According to socialmedia.com, more than a quarter of U.S. consumers have recommended a brand, product, or service to a friend via social media within the last three months. This statistic was posted in 2013. So I can only imagine how large the numbers are today with the rise of various social media platforms. Two forms of social media were created for Milk Theory, Facebook and Instagram. These social media outlets were chosen because they are the most interactive apps used by the target market. The Facebook account will be used to promote new items on the menu, store hours, and a place for customers to post reviews. The Instagram account will be used to post items on the menu, highlight employees and customers, and post Instagram stories to interact with the customers in categories such as Mixology and Our Team. A responsive website was created in order for customers to have another point of contact with the brand, as well as to learn more about the menu and inspiration behind Milk Theory. Each responsive screen represents different portions of the website, including the landing page, menu, about section, and merchandise. Different styles of iconography and photography are used in order to represent the products as well as the grid layouts to give hierarchy to the typography. Cereal boxes were designed for the packaging category of Milk Theory's deliverables. Each cereal box has the same grid style, but each flavor has a unique twist on the original name and a hint to what the cereal looks like inside the box. This tactic is similar to popular cereal brands today, such as Honey Nut Cheerios, because of the large name at the top and the product photography towards the bottom. These cereal boxes were created in order to be displayed as design elements in the store, as well as takeaways for the customers. They are available for purchase in the store under the to-go option of the menu. Another form of deliverables created for Milk Theory is a canvas tote and cartons of milk. This carton of milk is an item on the takeaway portion of the menu, and this specific example is showcasing their special menu item, cereal milk made from rainbow rings. The main category of merchandise for Milk Theory includes t-shirts and sweatshirts. The t-shirts are loyal to the brand by including the main logo, the milk bottle icon, and the tagline, Seriously Real Ingredients. The sweatshirts are a take off of the cereal boxes and business cards with the use of cereal icons. Each of these sweatshirts were designed to be gender neutral while allowing the customer to have brand loyalty. This photo captures a brand moment that is in Milk Theory's storefront. The slogan, Seriously Real Ingredients, was turned into Seriously Good Vibes to give the phrase a presence in the space. Advertising is important for this brand because it establishes credibility with the viewer. A playful take on the phrase, a match made in heaven, was used to emphasize the mixture of ingredients that goes into each item on Milk Theory's menu. Iconography and monoline illustration styles were used to represent each ingredient, which is similar to the personality established on other items in Milk Theory's deliverables. The print and outdoor advertising highlights the same mixture of ingredients, while the social media advertising highlights an array of mixtures and describes the mixes in the bottom right corner. These advertisements were designed as a way to excite the viewer for the many options on Milk Theory's menu and to hint to popular mixes that previous customers have enjoyed. Through careful research and understanding, Milk Theory was created for the people who want to enjoy a fun snack with an abundance of nutrients, including seriously real ingredients. People love food, especially Instagram-worthy food. Breakfast cereal is a small niche that is a great fit for the food culture in Austin, Texas, because Milk Theory brings together friends and family with an endless option of enjoying a classic snack. And if I didn't already lose you to the pantry or refrigerator, thank you for listening.